Right, well, it's been a while since I've done anything like this. Um, amongst that scrabbly mess on the table there is actually my generator, which is this large unit. I'm just going to pick it up so you can see it better. And it does weigh a bit. All of them are, let's get a better light. As you can see, all of these are the washing machine pump uh, coils. I've had to rewind all by hand with 18 gauge wire. I've uh, got from these washing machine motor transformer. As you can see, I've got rubbish lights. But the heart of my generator is the uh, the me metal plates, as you can see, they're cut in a certain angle. Uh, you can also see there that they're not centered. Now, normally, they would attract to the coil to that metal plate so it would be level, which is what was happening down here. But what I've cleverly done is uh, offset them so that now they sit at this sort of uh, uh, half off the half the side, well where they are anyway, they sit there, and it actually reduces the cogging that naturally happens with just one side of a generator. All of it's still being driven by this uh, 12 volt motor with a little metal tab that's stuck on the top there, so I can crank start it. Which I might not need that anymore because it's getting even with just these two. It's a lot easier to uh a lot easier to turn by hand. Sorry, my din's repeating on me. Um but yeah this does actually weigh a fair bit already. I mean <laughs> that wobbling's happening because I'm holding at arm's length. But yeah, um there's another four coils to go on over time. It's taken ages. Um kind of ignore the wiring on the side here, it's just uh was there for earlier stuff but because I've been messing with it, I'll just let the wire drop off. And uh, it does wait on. Hopefully, if I can find a good matching side, aha, uh -huh, I do it. As you can see, it can sit along at this angle on its side. Uh, so that way, yeah. Yeah, fluorescent light doesn't light that well. But yeah, that's how it's uh, sitting so far. Oh my God, that's rubbish. I can see it perfectly clear, but it's just uh, fluorescent light. Yeah, I can do that now, and that's actually really easy. Before, I would have to hold it with my other hand uh, on the top and then crank it. But I mean, I could do that now, just, just, okay. This pipe here is aluminium. It's going to get cut down shorter once I put a, once I put a support uh, piece of wood, I guess, across the top there with a the bearing to hold this central. Um, I haven't given it power yet because I've just freshly stuck these on. So uh, I'm going to, I'll get up to my little transformer there. Um, yeah, that one. It just drives them out so I can do initial tests and get readings. Yeah, um, that's how it's got so far. Uh, if anybody was wondering what I was doing. Yeah. All right, see ya.